Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So we were getting our first two raised beds ready, and we need more soil. And we just saw that there's some things happening. And by the way, thank you guys again for your support on Patreon, where you can watch all the videos. Every video goes up on Patreon. And again, we thank you for your support over there. We have a strong X-Class flare. It's an X1, so it just made it into the X-Class, but that is still a strong flare. And as you see here, uh, it's an X1.1, and it occurred around 1.30 Universal Time when both AR 3614 and 3615 uh, let loose a little energy. This is, um, they say this is Earth-directed, so be aware of that. Um, should be arriving by the 25th. Uh, you, you know, things have, forecasts have really been off when it comes to solar events lately. They really have. It, it, and it just kind of like the weather, too. It doesn't seem like they could ever get their weather right either. I think there's so much technological interference going on right now. So when we look at the conditions that we've had, um, you know, we, we have had the KP index up to five and two different spikes here and uh, currently at four, but but should be going up again. Uh, so, you know, be aware. Uh, yes, you can perhaps see in the higher latitudes some beautiful aurora, some northern lights. This affects our consciousness. This affects our bodies. If you are especially one that has been working to detoxify yourself and you have uh, a good, solid, steady spiritual practice, you might feel this more strongly than the average person. In fact, it does seem that those that are on the ascension path tend to feel this far more intensely than somebody that, say, is heavily medicated in one way, form, or another. And and that could include things just like GMO foods and, and doing all the things that the system is recommending to do. This absolutely affects us in every single way as, you know, you have photons that just go th straight through your body. They go right through your body. Of course it's going to affect you. And the changes that are going on right now involve not just our bodies, though they do involve our bodies. They also involve our consciousness. And we are going to be getting blessed, those that try to be as organic as possible, with uh, what might seem to be super normal, superhuman abilities. They've been getting us ready for all this. When you look to uh, Marvel Comics, Capcom Comics, all the movies out there, uh, you know, think about the X-Men and the mutants and all that, and the persecution of the mutants. Well, the mutants will be the ones that stay normal and stay sane, and then you have... And when I say that, I truly do mean that staying, it's, insanity is, is going down the deep, dark path of the system and things like what Mr. Musk is recommending, uh, having things, you know, which happens to be the same thing that Klaus is recommending, you know, go ahead and hook yourself up into uh, the Internet, you know, permanently. No, thank you. You could take that chip and stick it where the sun don't shine. It ain't coming anywhere near me. Uh-uh, I'd jump off a cliff, and I don't like heights. No, and, you know, we were just talking to some family members the other day, and they're going through ascension. And I mean, ascension is wonderful. It's a very good thing. But when we're, when we're actually going through it, it sometimes does not feel very wonderful. It does not feel very good. Many times you're going to be called to move up and beyond other things that you are trying to do in your life. Things could get uncomfortable. People get rashes. Um, you know, I think you really off with the sugar no sugar get sugar out of the way especially if you see a flare like this don't eat the sugar because that could cause a lot of other problems and it prevents your body from bringing in the nutrients that it needs to build itself but then you talk about life situations life situations and ascension i mean we have to address this too and this is what people don't really like to talk about when it comes to ascension it can get ugly i mean you might be in a situation a really a relationship a job a friendship and it suddenly gets very very uncomfortable and you're being called your higher self is trying to tap you on the shoulder and saying hey this isn't working for you this is not your path we need to do something different 
And I'm asking nicely this time. <laughs> higher self doesn't always ask nicely, especially if higher self has asked nicely for a few times already. I mean, you, it can get really serious with you having to make life changes and make things better. It's not easy. And when we, when you, if you heard the term ascension, you might think, well, you know, if you're of a fundamentalist mindset and background, you might say, isn't that one of those those newfangled? Uh, new age terms when, you know, again, you know, if you believe the Bible, you know, Yeshua Jesus said, these are all signs of the new age. Why are you afraid of it? Because the old age is a dark age. In fact, the old age, the Kali Yuga, is a demonic age. It's the age of demons. Do you want to stay in the age of demons? Well, I think you need to have your head examined if that's the case. Who would want to stay in the age of demons other than a demon? This is the ascending arc. This is the descending arc. We're on the ascending arc, ascending ascension. It means we're escaping the age of demons and we're heading into a new age. And isn't that a good thing? Of course it is. But what are the demons doing? <sighs> well, the demons are trying to hang on to us. As we're climbing up the ladder, they're trying to grab onto our ankles and keep us down any way possible. And that includes black goo, if you know what I mean. And, and Nanu, Nanu. Isn't this curious? Man with rare condition sees people's faces as demons. What? This is in Newsweek. Yeah, you know what else? It's also in NBC News. It's also in CNN. It's all over the place. Huh. It's like staring at demons. Meet a man who lives with a disturbing condition. Well, you know, again, immediately, and I don't even need to go into the story because what they're doing is they're covering up, with giving a new label because people are seeing through the veil. They're seeing through the veil. And so they can always, you know, again, use a new label, a new term. Oh, those clouds up there, they're just blah, 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 blah clouds. Yeah, they're perfectly natural, but we've never seen them before. I'm 60 years old. And I've never seen one in my life. Well, yeah, they've always been there. And then, you know, again, they just cover up what's really going on. This is what the system does. Oh, the condition causes faces to appear distorted. Well, people are going to start seeing when people are really possessed with demons. And, and this is what you, you, many of you guys can do. I want to venture to guess uh, probably more than 10% of the population out there right now can look at a person and know energetically uh, if they are truly demon-possessed like our leaders. When, when you look to Netanyahu, that man is just, he's not a man. That's not a man. That he is just like Hitler. Hitler was completely possessed again by the demonic energies, and they would just come on him and take him over at the most opportune times and, and nudge him and guide him gently at other times that were less critical. But when he was about to you know make a big speech or something, that's when they would swirl around him. This is what they do in Netanyahu, this is what they do with. You know, all the JB clones and all the leaders, they, they want to make sure that the the program that's laid out for them is being followed. And these, you know, demons uh, take many forms, including thought forms, what's known as thought forms. In fact, the, the Jewish uh, legend of the Gollum is based on a thought form being created. In fact, the, uh, the <laughs> in the Bohemian Grove, they literally call a demon in to manifestation. The leaders like Reagan and Nixon and, and William Buckley and others that have been over there, they, they call on demons and, and they watch them manifest. Ultimately, the, the power structure goes through the Ajiji to those called the Anunnaki, to those called the Draco, to ultimately artificial intelligence. So here they are. Once again, giving us a new technological name because people are waking up and they're able to perceive demons. And it's not just a guy down in Haiti. There was another case in California of somebody that lost their leg. They got hit by a train. Somebody picked it up. And, you know, I, I'm going to try to be very, very careful there. But, you know, think in terms of a barbecue without the fire. Do you want a wing? 
this is this is what the demonic uh, age looks like, and now it's being shown for what it truly, truly is. And yet, so much of the world has been so led astray by the demonic age's belief systems, which promote things like blood sacrifice, and literally the same thing. Oh, this is my body that you eat. This is my blood that you drink. Yeah, again, that's the satanic demonic twist to what was really a teacher that was here to, to help us escape the system. Well, after the teacher was no longer here, they, they took his teachings, they burned as many that were uh, truly accurate and distorted what they could to turn it into another blood sacrifice. Absolutely. So how do we escape from this Kali Yuga? It, it's certainly not by emulating demons, which is emulating everything in society when you talk about mainstream. Mm -hmm. I know I, I don't, I, I never really have understood at all why anyone would, would want to pretend to eat somebody's skin and pretend to drink their blood. It's not okay. <laughs> it's just, it's never been okay with me. I mean, the whole system and Many times, Mike and I, we really get in a lot of trouble for pointing things out that are, I mean, to us, it's like, no, there's something wrong with this picture. It doesn't feel right. So we went searching and we go outside of the realms of regular religion because we want to know the truth. And that's just the path that we take. I don't think anyone can put a label on us. We don't uh, have any one specific belief system, but we definitely search within ourselves and we find the truth for ourselves. So this is, um, this is a situation that's been going on for many eons. People have learned this teaching and they were taught these, this teaching by people who were very, very um, close to them, their loved ones, their parents, their grandparents. So why wouldn't they honor these teachings? Why wouldn't they? And then, you know, just really stay away from anything that their loved ones told them to stay away from. But that really puts you in a corral. It really puts you in a place of of control where the controllers they pretty much do what they wish once they got a hold of somebody's belief system from such a young age absolutely that's called transubstantiation and you know i would actually uh yeah well that that would be nice but you know um i think again we can just simply use this word right here it's emulating what that person does, a person that is one of those, that, that C-A-N-N-I-B-A-L word. Yeah, transubstantiation means the change of the whole substance of the bread into the substance of the body of Christ and the whole substance of the wine into the substance of the blood. Who gave us this belief system? It was the royalty that gave us this belief system. It's, it's those bloodlines that gave us this belief system. Obviously, it's the control system's belief system. It should be so damn obvious, but the fact is most people in the Kali Yuga are under the demonic control, and they don't even know they're under the demonic control. Uh, they bought into the system because the system makes it so that we have to just run on that treadmill all day long to pay our taxes, and the parasitic, demonic nature of the system bleeds us dry. This is a Kali Yuga. And, by the way, there are Kali Yuga predictions from the Hindu holy texts. Uh, success in business. This is what they, the predictions of the Kali Yuga are, uh, again, from the Vedic point of view. Six and, you know, the Bhagavata Purana and, you know, the Upanishads, etc., etc., Success in business is going to depend on deceitful activity. And this is what they train us in. It's so true. Man and woman will live together only because of attraction. Femininity and masculinity will be judged according to their mastery in Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra. You know, again, it, uh, it's, it's not about pure love. It's, it's not about true partnership. It's about everything shallow is really what's important in the Kali Yuga. Physical strength and memory will decrease day by day. Law and justice will be applied only on the basis of one's power. You know, it, it goes on and on. It's everything that we see, shortened lives, hatred. Yes, sweetie. 
Well, I was just looking at this, and we have spoken about the cell cities and, and, and the children, and those who are in the cell cities would have very short years. And I, I saw that bullet point in there. It says, in Kali Yuga, the maximum duration for life as a human will be 50 years. And I, I just, because I've never seen this, I find it curious that the star children told us about that, and that's why you want to follow an organic path. You want to keep working your way out of the system you don't want to have to need them you want to be self-sufficient very important yeah i believe from the information that we've gotten um if you are born in maybe like another dozen years from now outside of the system you will probably live two or three hundred years um maybe even more than that but yet those that are in the cities that are in the control system 30 to 50 might be their max um, and this is what we've we've gotten through the channeled information that Cindy's been able to do. And then again, you'll get some fundamentalists will say, channeling, how do you know that's not demons? Because just feel the energy. You know, it, again, it, it should be so simple. But when people are uh, eating all the wrong things, the genetically modified foods, when they're taking in all sorts of toxins, when they've been drinking fluoridated water, when they don't have an activated light body, they don't have a functioning pineal gland, they can be controlled by demons. Absolutely. And that's what we have. This is an age when the demons rule the roost. And, and that's another prophecy of the Kali Yuga. The, the most powerful will be those that are obviously the most demonic in nature. It's an exhausting thing getting through a Kali Yuga. And you can see these guys are tired, but you know we're driving on the way home. That's the good news. We're getting out of this age. Unless, you know, we choose to serve uh, the rulership of this age. And one of, the, one of the darkest things I can think of is that Metallica song. You know that song? Now, it has a, a prayer, a prayer that comes from the Catholic Church. Uh, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the what? My soul? You know, be very careful about that one. Because, you know, your soul is yours. Your soul is yours, and source is in you. The real creator is inside you. This is another way in which they trick us into choosing to reincarnate into their control. And yes, you must be born again uh, to enter the kingdom of heaven, and again, and again, and again. It's, it's reincarnation. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's always been so simple. Why does it look so just incomprehensible from the fundamentalist point of view and that's because it doesn't make any sense in the first place purposefully and so you have to just say it's a divine mystery you know and trust the pope trust the priests trust the royalty trust the system trust people like gil bates hell no we'll never trust anything in the system mm -mm. no no we're we're making our own system step by step doing little by little you know, and, and many times you have to be in the system to recreate. It's just a fact of life. And it's it's definitely not easy. So be good to yourself. Be good to other people. And I'm watching this video here. And this is just therapeutic. I don't know how many times I drove across that Nevada desert. And with puppies or kids, everybody's sleeping and just have time to sit and process. It was really therapeutic. Wonderful. As always, source bless and namaste. Namaste.